Hey everyone, welcome to Cape Cod French Bulldog. So today I'm going to be coloring in number four on the Christmas countdown and doing number four on the Harry Potter advent calendar. So on the fourth day of December, my advent calendar gave to me two candy canes to color in. Now I'm going to do the traditional colors of red and white, but if you want to be creative, you can do like red and you can do like red and green or make a fruit punch one or if you're like me, um, you know that there are such things as Oreo candy canes that taste sort of like Tootsie Pop, Tootsie Rolls. So you could do it brown and red or white or whatever. And also, even though the paper is white, it looks more natural, if you understand what I'm saying, if you actually color in the white. And I said that in the previous video when I used white for the top of the ornament but yeah my favorite kind of candy cane is the original like sugary peppermint i don't really care for wintergreen candy canes if anybody has like a favorite candy cane flavor that's not classic or wintergreen let me know in the comments like what what's your favorite candy cane do you like the flavors like the jolly rancher and the starburst candy canes or do you prefer traditional? Do you like the Oreo ones that taste like Tootsie Rolls if you've ever had one? Because there are a lot of different kinds of candy canes. And, you'll, and you will also notice that when you eat a candy cane, they only, unless it's a homemade candy cane, there is only the coloring on the outside. That's a fact that I know because I have proven it. But there is my candy canes. Maybe this one's like one of those pinky candy canes because the red and the white blend. So I'm gonna put that to the side and we go back to Harry Potter. So um, day one, we got Harry, his Yule Ball poster, his wand, this tiny table and a candle. On day two, we got a super duper 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 micro version of Hogwarts. On day three, we got a tiny little Durmstrang ship and that sail is not, the mast for the sail is not where I want it to be, but I can mess with that later. And then, Today, we get the Bobaton carriage so that all three of the schools can be at Hogwarts. So this is a really cool little mini build. It's also one of the more complicated builds. So we have these two things. They go like this and there is a blue plate beneath them. And then you put on the wheels, which are these discs. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, like that. So that the carriage is like this. And then you are going to take all of these little two-cornered studs. There are only two of the studs, outer-facing studs on the corners and you put on these grills that serve as windows, but also the little other bits, they kind of look like portholes on a ship. They're also windows. And then you put on this red velvety top, and if you've ever seen any pictures of the actual minifigure sized one, you'll see that it looks a lot like this. And then we get the Abraxan winged horse which is very kind of complicated. So you put it in like this, and that is its head. Yes, that looks like a horse head. And then you add, give it its wings. I did something wrong here. Oh, it needs to be like this. So I can easily fix that. You have your winged horsey. And if you, you can make a winged horse super easy if you have all these pieces. Then there's a little clip so it can pull the carriage and ta-da. Does that look right? It does look right. 
there is our little boba Tonic carriage. And now we can have the the boat come out of the water and the carriage come out of the sky and everything will be ready because everybody's here. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Come back soon for another video and do not forget that you can see the cur the current Lego Friends ones on Cape on cooking and crafts with rose the link is in the description box below thank you for watching and come back soon come back tomorrow for day five bye